a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Avars, Caucasus The Avars are a Northeast Caucasian native ethnic group who are the predominant of several ethnic groups living in the Russian Republic of Dagestan. The Avars reside in a region known as the North Caucasus between the Black and Caspian Seas, alongside other ethnic groups in the North Caucasus region. The Caucasian Avars live in ancient villages located approximately 2,000 meters above sea level. The Avar language spoken by the Caucasian Avars belongs to the family of Northeast Caucasian languages, and is also known as Nak Dagestanian. Islam has been the prevailing religion of the Avars since the 13th century. The Avar Khaganate had become their peak empire until a disastrous war with the First Bulgarian Empire. This catastrophe, led by Bulgarian Emperor Krum and his invincible army, forced the total destruction and east migration of the Avar Empire and people. Ethnonyms According to 19th century Russian historians, Bavarians' neighbors usually referred to them by the exonyms Lesgins and or Tavlins. Vasily Potter wrote that those to the south usually knew them as Tavlins, and their neighbors, on the other side of the mountains, in Georgia, referred to them as Lesgins. The words in different languages have the same meaning, of, mountain dwellers, or, highlanders. No single ethnic group was known as Lesgins prior to the Russian Revolution, and the name was not usually used by the Lesgins themselves. Nikolai Dubrovin wrote, Chechnya, with its rich mountain pastures, mountain slopes covered with dense forest, with its plain, irrigated by many rivers and rich vegetation, is a perfect contrast to the neighboring barren and rocky parts of Dagestan populated by an Avarian tribe. Mostly known by us as Lesgins, the name Tavlin is believed to be from the Turkic Tau, meaning, mountain. Those known as Tavlins usually have origins in the upper parts of two tributaries of the Suluk River, the Angisko Koesu and the Vask Oikoesu. Potter also claimed that members of a Varian tribe also often referred to themselves by the alternate endonym Marulal, also meaning, mountaineer. History According to the historian Sergei Tolstov, Avarians originated in Kurazan, southeast of the Caspian Sea, and migrated to the Caucasus. These geographical origins apparently link them to the Hurrians of Subatu. The earliest mention of the Avars in European history is by Priscus, who reported in 463 AD that a combined legation from the Saragas, Eurogs and Anogas had requested an alliance with Byzantium. The legation claimed that in 461 their peoples had been displaced by the Sabres, as a result of pressure from the Avars. It is not clear whether or in what way the Caucasian Avarians are related to the early pseudo-Avars of the Dark Ages, but it is known that with the mediation of Sarasius in 567, the Gog Turks requested Byzantium to distinguish the Avars of Pannonia as pseudo-Avars, as opposed to the true Avars of the East, who had come under Gog Turk hegemony. The modern Arab encyclopedia states that the Magyars originated in this area. The Avar invasion of the Caucasus resulted in the establishment of an Avar ruling dynasty in Sara, a medieval Christian state in the Dagestani highlands. During the Khazar wars against the Caliphate in the 7th century, the Avars sided with Khazariah. Shurakart is mentioned as their Khagan around 729-30 AD, followed by Andunik Nutzel at the time of Abu Muslima, then Dugri Nutzel. Sarah suffered a partial eclipse after the Arabs gained the upper hand, but managed to reassert its influence in the region in the 9th century. It confronted the weakened Khazars and conducted a friendly policy towards the neighboring Christian states of Georgia and Alania. In the early 12th century, Sarah disintegrated, to be succeeded by the Avar Khanate, a predominantly Muslim polity. The only extant monument of Sarah architecture is a 10th-century church at the village of Daytonar. The Mongol invasions seem not to have affected the Avar territory. 
and the alliance with the Golden Horde enabled the Avarkans to increase their prosperity. In the 15th century the Horde declined, and the Shan Khalate of Khazi Kamuk rose to power. The Avars could not compete with it, and were incorporated by them. From the 16th century onwards, the Persians and Ottomans started consolidating their authority over the entire Caucasus, and divided and consolidated most of its territory for themselves. By the mid-16th century, what is now eastern Georgia, Dagestan, nowadays Azerbaijan, and Armenia was under Safavid Persian rule, while what is now western Georgia fell under Ottoman Turkish suzerainty. Although Dagestan was once briefly gained by the Ottoman Turks through the Ottoman Safavid War of 1578-1590, Dagestan and many of its Avar inhabitants stayed under Persian suzerainty for many centuries. However, many ethnic groups in Dagestan, including many Avars, retained relatively high amounts of freedom and self-rule. After losing the Caucasus briefly in the early 18th century, following the disintegration of the Safavids, and the Russo-Persian War of 1722-1723, the Persians re-established full control over the Caucasus again in the early 18th century under Nader Shah through his Caucasian Campaign and Dagestan Campaign. During that same time, the Avars increased their prestige by routing an army of Nader Shah at Andalal during the later stages of his Dagestan Campaign. In the wake of this triumph, Umar Khan of the Avars managed to exact tribute from most states of the Caucasus, including Shirvan and Georgia, two years after Umar Khan's death in 1801. The Khanate voluntarily submitted to Russian authority following the Russian annexation of Georgia and the Treaty of Georgievsk, but this only got confirmed after considerable Russian successes and the victory in the Russo-Persian War of 1804. 1813, after which Persia lost southern Dagestan and many of the rest of its Caucasus territories to Russia. The 1828 Treaty of Turkmenche indefinitely consolidated Russian control over Dagestan and other areas where the Avars lived and removed Iran from the military equation. The Russian administration disappointed and embittered the freedom-loving Highlanders. The Russians' institution of heavy taxation coupled with the expropriation of estates and the construction of fortresses, electrified the Avar population and arising under the aegis of the Muslim Imamate of Dagestan, led by Ghazi Muhammad, Gamzatbek and Shamil. This Caucasian war aged until 1864, when the Avarian Khanate was abolished, and the Avarian district was instituted instead. One portion of the Avars refused to collaborate with Russians and migrated to Turkey, where their descendants live to this day. Although the population was decimated through war and emigration, the Avars retained their position as the dominant ethnic group in Dagestan during the Soviet period. After World War II, many Avars left the barren highlands for the fertile plains closer to the shores of the Caspian Sea. Description Avarians are a Northeast Caucasian people with a Northeast Caucasian language. Another tribe with common name, Abeta are, according to Encyclopedia Britannica, one of a people of undetermined origin and language, was the so-called Turanian nomad people, which to make their presence as, pseudo-Avars, in opinion of ruler of Turkic Khaganate in Europe. Avarians inhabit most of the mountainous part of Dagestan as well as portions of the plains. They also live in Chechnya, Kalmykia and other regions of the Russian state, as well as in Azerbaijan and Georgia. In 2002, Avarians, who have assimilated with ethnic groups speaking related languages, numbered about 1.04 million, of which 912,020 live in Russia. Of those living in Russia, 850,011 are in Dagestan, 32% of them in cities. In Turkey, the population census figures for the North Caucasian population are not given as they are considered as ethnic Turks. According to Atar FBM according to A.M. Magomedadev's research, the Avarian population there should have been around 53,000 in 2005. Avarians call themselves Awaral.
Bavarians as Highlanders and armed people. I, Marulal means, inhabitants of the top grounds, mountaineers, but another group of Avarians is described as belonging to another category, Zindalal, namely, inhabitants of plains and gardeners. The name Avarians has a narrower meaning for Avarians, especially a national one connected with former statehood. Avar, is a significant part of the word, Avaria. For the Kunsak Khanate that formed approximately in the 12th century after the disintegration of the local Asriya Empire. From the middle of the 19th century this territory was the Avarian district of the Dagestanian area. Now it is Kunsakski district of Dagestan. The modern literary language of Avarias, both in olden times and today, is known among Avarians as the language of Bo. The Avarian word, Bo, army, armed people, according to reconstructions, was originally Omegawa in the Proto-Avarian language. Usage of the name, Avarians At the same time, in modern Avarian there are three words retaining their ancient basis of Awar, Awarag, the envoy, prophet, messiah, Awara, obstacle, opposition, and Awari, pommel of a saddle. There is also an Avarian river, Awar Omega R, and, Avar Khoisu, in Russian. All three listed words are to be found in ancient lexicons of the Iranian languages, Parthian, Upar, Parlavi slash Middle Purse, Abar slash Abeta R, Up, On, Over, and, Higher, Superior, Abarag slash Abeta Arag, Superior, Abaga slash Abeta Aga, God, Divinity, Abarmanig slash Abeta Armanig, Noble, Aparamatan, to surpass, a par cardan slash a par hand a cheat an, to attack, at the same time. According to the morphology and grammatic rules of the Middle Persian language, a beta arag, superior, can also be translated as, a beta arian, kurasanyan, parthian, as seen, for example, in a Middle Persian word. Iranag, Iranian. The term, avar, was known in the 10th century. According to Persian author Ibn Rustu a so-called governor of Sarah. The first authentic mention of a population of Diastanian highlanders under the name Avars belongs to Johann de Galonifontibus, who wrote in 1404 that in the Caucasus there live Circassians, Lex, Yerses, Alans, Avars, Kazikamux. According to Vladimir Minorsky, in Zafar, Diastanian Avars are called the Orha. Abbas Kuli Agabaki Kanav in his book Gulistan Iaram based on the chronicle, Darbend name, wrote that the inhabitants of vicinities of Agran have been moved here from Khurasan. A residence of this emir also was Agran. The editor of this book, an academician of the Academy of Sciences of Azerbaijan, ZM. Bun Yayatov, confirms that the district of Agran corresponds to the Caucasian Avaria. This word, Agran, is now unknown to modern Avars, but according to the Altaranus Chisvorta book of Christian Bartholome, Agamara means Erster, Oberster, Anfang, Spitzen Agamara Vom Oberson, Von der Oberseite Stammend, Noldica, Hubskman, Fry, Christensen and Enochi identify the Aparsha slash Abasha slash Abhasha slash Abrasar with Kurasan. Or Nishapur. The Khurasan in Iranian studies known as Rise of Sun, Parthian Apar in summary, Apars R slash A beta R is very similar to the German word Orberland. According to H. W. Hausick, a beta R means ripe there Abar, and should be sought in the southwestern territory of the Western Turkish Empire. A Da'i tribe, the Aparnak moved from the southeastern shore of the Caspian into the territory of Khurasan where they founded a Dai confederation of tribes that was referred to as barbarians and enemies of Arians in Avastani texts, according to Christian Bartholome, on the border of Khurasan. The Sassanids built a strong wall, named the Great Wall of Gorgon, or the Red Snake, was built to protect Iran from invasion by the so-called White Huns. Later another wave of White Huns obtained control over Khurasan and kept it for a long time. According to Richard Helly, 
By such reasoning, the Ephelites are thought to have originated at Chimotalo, which tantalizingly stands for Himdala, snow plain, which may be the Sanskritized form of Hethel. In 484 the Hephthalite chief Aksan War led his army to attack the Sasanian king Peroz, who was defeated and killed in Khurasan. After the victory, the Hephthalite empire extended to Merv and Herat. Some of the White Huns concluded a peace treaty with Iran and the two became allies, both fighting against Byzantium. Thus, Hephthalites really lived in the Khurasan slash Khurasan area. According to the Chinese classic Liang Qi Kung Tu, was the name the Hephthalites used for themselves. And that is probably a Chinese transfer of a similar sounding word, or slash Yua. Mehmetis Khan writes that according to a Chinese record, the Hephthalites descended from a Ruan Ruan tribe called Hu in the Kashi region. This tribe came to Tokaristan and soon settled also in eastern regions of Gorasan at the beginning of the 5th century. About the same time, the name Avars slash awards appears in the sources, again. In his well-known Atlas of China, A. Herman shows the eastern regions of Khorasan, Tokaristan, etc. as the dominions of Afu slash Hua slash awards slash Hephthalites between ca. 440 and 500 AD. Relying on the identification Hua Yura War, the German researcher Karl Menges, well known in the scientific world, considered Eurasian Avars to be one of the ancient Mongol peoples, who, were the first to use the title Gargan for their supreme ruler, further listing ancient Mongol-speaking peoples. He obviously has in view Avars Caucasian when he mentions the traces of a Mongol residue in Diestan. Supporters of the so-called Old Turanian Nomad Horde, infiltrate. Point of view include the following scientists, Joseph Marquardt, Omlian Prizak, Vladimir Minorsky, Vladimir Baileys, Harold Harman, Murad Magomedov, Alikbar Alikbarov, and Timur Etbarov. Language The Avar language belongs to the Avar and it says subgroup of the Alarodian Northeast Caucasian language family. The writing is based on the Cyrillic script, which replaced the Arabic script used before 1927, and the Latin script used between 1927 and 1938. More than 60% of the Avars living in Dagestan speak Russian as their second language. Notable Avars The most prominent figures in Avar history were Rama Khanavarian, Haji Murat, and Imam Shamil. The most celebrated poet writing in the Avar language was Rasul Gamzatov, in Azerbaijan. There was an ethnic Avar member of the parliament, Ali Antsukski, who was killed in 1996. Famous Avar artists include Halil Beg Maseyashul, whose drawings were shown at the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art, and Kamil Aliyev who is noted for his ornamental carpet work. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?